Hello and welcome to this episode. I am going to analyze the SEO or search engine optimization of my website using Python. Beautiful soup library, request library, and export the result, the report, to a CSV file using pandas. So I just started this website, pythonology.eu. You can just take a look. Uh, there's not much in it yet. You can subscribe to my email list, by the way, and you can also buy me a coffee. I would appreciate it. Okay, now uh, you can also like this video, by the way, now. So if I go to lessons, I have published these two articles. I just did it today. And what is syntax in programming and linguistics? I have a PhD in linguistics, so I thought maybe I can say something about this. Now, I'm not sure if this article is optimized for search engines, hence SEO. And what can I do to make sure that it will rank high in search engines? First is content. You should have great and valuable content that people would appreciate, that will share it with others. Second thing is that you need to have a good structure. You need to have a title. You need to have enough relevant keywords about the title in your text and some hierarchy of, for example, we have an H1 tag here, then H2 here and here then maybe an image with an alt attribute just to describe what your image is about if someone cannot see that image and links to other reputable and well-known websites and sources and all that so i'm gonna check if this article meets those conditions now i'm using google collab if you're using your ide is fine you just need to pip install beautiful soup for pandas and requests and then import them in your id as i have so we are going to check for warnings and what are warnings i'm going to tell you we're going to check if the website has indeed a title which appears like here what is syntax you can see it in the tab here if the website has a meta description which will appear in google search results if it has enough headings and especially h1 if the images have alt attributes and the keywords if they match the title and the, the issue all right so i am going to import these and i have actually and now starting by sending a request to my web page this is the web page i'm going to analyze so i'm gonna save the url into a URL variable like so and sorry if the font is too big I don't know I'm using a new monitor and a uh, new recording software so I have no idea how these things work anyways now I have the URL I'm gonna send requests to get the text of this web page so let's just save them inside the rest uh, variable which is going to be using the request library to get the URLs text so now i have access to all this whatever it is and all the tags and if i just print this res you will see what a mess it is this is binary and you can see kind of looks like looks like html but it's still not so so now try if i want to try to make sense of the html parts i need to use beautiful soup now so I would save it inside soup is equal to beautiful soup that we just imported. And the beautiful soup is gonna turn our response, that is this one, using the html.parser. So it's gonna, not parser, parser. So it's gonna parse the HTML of this thing here. Okay, I'm gonna run this, perfect. Now, if you wanna see what this soup is, I'm gonna print the soup, but let's just prettify it a bit to make it a bit more beautiful. And let's run and see. It is looks like yeah, it looks much better, right? So we have all the stuff here. Let's just go higher up. And you can see the declaration of the HTML and meta tags inside the head tag. And do I have a title? Because that's very important, right? And yes, I do have a title. You can see what is syntax in programming and linguistics. And this is what appears right here in your tab. You can see it. 
Now, what about meta content description? I should have it somewhere. And that's it, that is it. If you come from it, blah, blah, blah. So this is what appears in Google search, right? And I'm gonna look for this description. Okay, now let's uh, do that. I'm gonna close this off. And down here, I'm going to look for the title first, right? So we said title, but I'm going to save also the bad things, the warnings inside a list. If there are issues that should be addressed, for example, if there is no title, I'm going to put it in here. If there is no alt, I'm going to put it here. Then there are the good things to be appraised. That is, oh, there is a good title. There are some headings. There is a description and all that. And there is the ugly, which is, well, keywords actually not ugly, but I'm gonna have it for later. Now, let's see. The first thing was title. Let's see if the title exists. For me, it does. I just wanna uh, do it anyways. So what I'm gonna do with the title is, I'm gonna check. I wanna save it inside a title variable. I'm gonna get inside the soup, which you saw what an HTML right? And I'm going to find an element. Which element is it? Well, the element's name is title. No brainer. So if I print it, you can see title is what is syntax and the title ends here. I don't want these tags there. So I'm going to just add this attribute and then I have only the text. Perfect. So I have the title inside it. Now, I want to make sure that the title exists, right? So I would say, if the title exists, add it to the good things. So good.append title, right? And I'm gonna add some more information to it by f string. I wanna say title exists, and let's just have it here, for example. Else, what should happen? I can say bad dot end, um, and here I would say no title. That's terrible. So that's one thing. Another thing you can do is actually you can check for the length of the title. If it's around fifty or sixty, that's good. If it's less than that or above that, it's not bad. So you can also check for that as well. So that's for the title. The next one is the meta description. So I would say meta description. Now I'm going to save them inside a meta D for description. And again, I'm going to go inside the soup and find one element, which is meta. But as you saw, there are a lot of metas, right? Meta content, meta char set, a lot of those. So I'm going to make sure that I am choosing the, the correct attribute which is the name of that attribute is going to be description. So I'm specifically looking for this meta description. Now, if I print out meta, you will see a long thing here. I do not need all this. So I want the content of that meta description. So what I can do is right after I can say, give me the content content. Okay, now if I run, you see, if you come from a programming background, blah, blah, perfect. So I can do the same thing with this, that if the meta description for that website exists, you can say meta description exists. And I'm going to be using meta, oops, meta, meta D. Otherwise, no meta description. And if title, well, actually, if meta description. So if it exists, add to it that, hey, exists, perfect. If not, you can again, can also check for the length of this meta description. If it is around 150 to 160, it's good. Otherwise, yeah, you need to maybe adjust the character length. Okay, so that was for meta description. What about headings? Another important thing. So let's save them inside 
Okay. Inside headings, I'm going to have um, some of these headings, which are H1, H2, and H3. You can go on to H6, but for me, it's fine now. So H1, 2, and 3. These are the headings, right? Or, I don't know, H's, whatever. So, yeah. Yeah, let's just call them H's. So HS, yeah. So now that is one. Now I'm going to check if in my website, my web page, in that HTML thing that you saw, these exist or not. So I would say for H in soup dot find all, because now there are more instances, right? It's not just one H1 or H2. There might be a lot of them. So find all of these H's. So for H, it is for every instance in uh, find uh, in the soup find all H's that is it will go inside that HTML structure find all of these H1, H2, H3's and every one of them would be H so what should happen if it finds them it should add them to the the what is it the uh, the good right so uh, we would say uh, good dot append so it should h dot name it should append the name of that h which could be h1 it could be h2 or it could be h3 but I can also do something else here I can I can also say h that name uh, let's just have an sf string here is better so now here then I can also put the text here as well so that will be h dot text h dot text uh, there is a text of that heading and let's just strip it of the white spaces before and after okay that is it and and the next thing I want to do is that if none of these are h1s then there should be a warning that hey there is no h1 tag there how can i do that well what i can do several ways to do it i'm just gonna say h i don't know tags for example empty and i'm gonna add the name of that tag inside this h tags whatever we have so i would say h underscore tags dot append um, h dot name so add the name of that h tag here so th this would be a collection of them maybe a three h2s or three h3s now i'm going to check if an h1 exists in this list so i'm going to say if h1 not in uh, h tags if h1 does not exist in that list then we should add it to the bad things that hey no h1 found so then this would happen okay now the last thing is about the alt attribute of images that is if images do not have an alt attribute so i would say image alt here and let's see how we should do this so we should go through all the images right just like what we did here we went through all of them i would say for i in soup dot find all find all images but i'm specifically interested if in the alt attribute of an image if it is nothing is in there so find those images without any alt actually go through them and add them there to the bad so bad dot append you can say no alt and then here you can add the image so no alt and this is the image without any alt that we have to add an alt to okay that is it for the first three ones without the uh, keywords yet so i'm gonna now print these things for my web page so let's print the good if i have any good and yeah, let's print also the bad 
and then let's print something in between them like this and let's see what happens oof so title exists what is syntax in programming linguistics and linguistics perfect then this is the good thing and what else do i have here meta description exists perfect if you come from a programming blah blah h2 exists h3 and h2 here as well is there an h1 yes i have an h1 as well perfect and all the way to the end okay now what about the bad things here no alt for this image if i click on it this is the image on my page like here it doesn't have an alt attribute perfect i can add something to it like a syntactic tree diagram for example okay so this is for the good and for the bad so in a next episode i will check the keywords inside a web page to see which keywords are have like how many times they have been repeated there so that's for the next episode and then we'll make a web app using streamlit to automate this stuff for everyone could use this seo analyzer i hoped i hope yes you liked this video and if you did please leave a comment down below or just press the like button that uh, means a lot to me thank you very much for watching and listening